What up guys? If you're new here, I'm Jake, and I'm willing to bet you've seen this before. So you want to be a software engineer at Google? But for once in my life, an advertisement actually lived up to the expectation, because I got Algo Expert and then a Google offer. But the question is, how much did Algo Expert help, and should you get it if you want a fang job? Well, to start off, regardless of what you use, studying is going to be necessary for your job interviews. You'll need to brush up on your whiteboarding skills and get ready to answer some technical and personal questions. Algo Expert, like other products, makes this whole process more approachable by bundling study materials together. The time and expertise put into curating this bundle of study materials is what you're paying for when you purchase Algo Expert. So here's the TLDR. If you have interviews coming up and $80 burning a hole in your pocket, buy it. Now, that doesn't mean I like everything, and we'll be exploring the product in depth a little bit later in this video. But first, let's go back and talk about my personal journey from Algo Expert to my Google offer letter. So, it's a normal day. I'm watching YouTube videos at my desk. Is it my lunch? Is it my break? Who knows? I get an email from a Google recruiter saying that there's an opening and my resume is a fit. Pretty standard stuff, but I email back and set up a phone call out of what I can only call morbid curiosity. I explain my bootcamp background and how we didn't necessarily study algorithms or data structures as compared to someone with a CS degree. And they basically told me that I can go through the interview process like everyone else or go pound sand. I don't know why, but I chose to do it anyway. Now, a sensible person would put a difficult interview a month out or so. I decided to schedule it two weeks after the phone call. The reason being, they said over the phone they wanted to hire a lot of people over the summer. So, the sooner the better in my mind. I didn't really process how difficult I made things for myself until I hung up the phone and started going through the provided study material they sent over. The farther I got into the list, the more nervous I got. So with just two weeks between me and an intensive technical interview, I drove to my personal office and drew up a plan. The first thing I did was separate my studies into different sections like system design, algorithms, and data structures and assign each subject to a day of the week. With a schedule set up, all I had to do was gather materials to work through each day. Google was really helpful here and provided a lot of links to articles and materials I could use to study. The basic takeaway though was brush up on whiteboard problems and brush up on CS basics. Now I had used Leak Code and Code Wars before, but I recently saw a commercial for Algo Expert and liked that it emphasized a limited problem set. Especially with my time constraint, I wanted to confirm that I was working through practice problems that were relevant for my upcoming interview. So I went ahead and purchased Algo Expert and integrated it into my algorithms and data structure study. As for the book, everybody was saying, oh, read cracking the coding interview, read cracking, no. I went with the Algorithm Design Manual by Skiena. This monster is basically a 600 page college textbook. I don't know how, but I made it through about 400 pages in two weeks though. Going into my first interview, I definitely felt unprepared and nervous, but I told myself that it was gonna be a learning experience and even if I failed, it wasn't that big of a deal because I was doing my best. And it went pretty much how I expected. There were some problems I did well on and some that I didn't do so well on. Realistically, I didn't expect to get a call back. So I get a phone call from the recruiter two days later. They say, well, we've got some bad news. Uh, we thought you underperformed on two of the interviews and we can't move forward with the hiring committee unless you come back for two more interviews. I was shocked, but I jumped on the opportunity and scheduled the follow-up interviews for the next week. This time, I knew what to expect. I spent more time on Algo Expert and focused on not overthinking the problem, which is what derailed my previous interviews. And a week later, I came in and crushed my follow-ups. The last stop of this adventure was team match. Even after all of my success, if I couldn't match with the team, all of it was for nothing. Luckily, my interpersonal skills are pretty good, so I got an offer before my first team match interview even ended. Looking back, I owe a lot of my success to careful preparation and luck. You can have all the time in the world to prep for an interview, but if you use it improperly or study the wrong materials, you're not going to get anywhere. Following that, let's go through Algo Expert and look at the tools and talk about how I use them from beginning to end. The Data Structures Crash Course is a video series that is meant to refresh you on CS basics. I learned a lot from this, and then I learned even more from the algorithm's design manual. After having gone through both, my recommendation is to start with a book if this material is completely new to you, but if you already have a CS degree, this is a perfectly high-level refresher series to go through. Next are the practice problems. 
At the time of recording, there are 160, separated into four difficulties and several categories. The key components of the practice problems are the prompt, the scratch pad, the code editor, the testing window, and the provided solutions. One of the best things about the practice problems, and AlgoExpert itself, is the provided solutions and video explanations. I cannot stress this enough, having a consistent narrator do walkthroughs and provide code solutions makes a huge difference as you work through problems that are difficult and new to you. Their naming conventions and coding standards become very familiar, and following along with their logic becomes extremely easy. One thing I am critical about when it comes to this practice style is the emphasis on compiling, running, and testing your code. The reality is that most interviews will be conducted on a whiteboard or blank text editor. I wasn't allowed to run or test any of my code in my interviews, and in some cases my interviewer actually allowed me to skip implementing whole data structures to move the interview along faster. The real emphasis of the interview is showing you conceptually understand how to approach the problem and are able to write out a solution that seems viable. So when it comes to this, I say avoid spinning your wheels and running your code a hundred times to try and fix an edge case scenario just skip to the video explanation. The last feature I spent time on was the mock interviews. Not much to say here, everything worked as expected and I got some cool new friends to add on my LinkedIn. Whatever platform you use, make sure you do a lot of mock interviews to get comfortable in a real interview setting. And if you know of any job openings, there are some really talented people looking for jobs I met through this platform and I've put their LinkedIn profiles in the video description. Now, believe it or not, there are other platforms that provide similar services. So let's take a look at a couple. LeetCode is a popular site that offers coding questions, mock interviews, and a bunch of other bells and whistles. There are more than 1,800 practice problems, and you can see other people's solutions as well as share your own. They also offer a paid service that adds more features like company-relevant problem collections, interview formats, custom boilerplates, autocomplete, on and on and on and on and on. What I like about LeetCode is its large problem pool, user interface, and community. The strength of a platform like this, in my opinion, is its focus on offering you a way to approach a problem and then iterate on the solution with other people to sharpen it into an even better solution. Another resource is the Google Tech Dev Guide. It's a free curated collection of interview questions, videos, and articles that can help walk you through CS basics to interview prep. This seems to be a lesser known resource. Even my interviewers at Google had never heard of it. One thing to note here is that while your resources are somewhat organized, there's no set path. This is more like a content repository for you to pull from if you already have an idea of what to study. The Tech Dev Guide's strength is that it focuses on a particular goal, which is prep for Google interviews. While it doesn't have an obvious roadmap of how you should work through it, it's still a very helpful supplementary resource for anyone with upcoming FANG interviews, especially Google. Look. When it comes to interview prep, just like most things in computer science, you can do it for free if you want. If you're struggling with money or can't justify an $80 purchase, you shouldn't feel bad about using free services. But when it comes to AlgoExpert, the best value is the problem selection and video walkthroughs. If you have an upcoming FANG interview and you need to be absolutely sure you're working through relevant practice problems, you can be reasonably sure you're using your time well on AlgoExpert. Additionally, if you like Clement's content and his teaching style, you're going to be able to move through these problems a lot faster than if you were just YouTubing every leak code problem you got stuck on. It really comes down to problem selection and having a mentor you understand well. So check out his channel, try one of the free questions on algoexpert.com, and watch the video walkthrough. I know he has a lisp, you'll get over it.